In today's tip, we're going to cover how to properly rig soft plastics. Now what I've prepared is a whole range of soft plastics in different sizes and types. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover jig head selection, we're gonna cover creature baits, we're gonna cover curl tails in different sizes, we're gonna cover paddle tails in different sizes, and we're gonna cover jerk shads in different sizes. And I'm gonna run you through the proper way that I rig these up. So let's get started. First, let's cover our small soft plastic. So what I've got here is a small curl tail soft plastic and a small paddle tail soft plastic. I like to use HWS jig heads, which stands for hidden weight system. Now why these are good is it means that all of the lead is not going to expose. That's actually gonna be hidden within the soft plastic. And these are also really, really great for limiting the amount of weed and snags that you get. Grab your soft plastic and kind of visualize where you think it's going to come out. So from there I can see it's about on that second last ripple, okay? And what I like to do is, because we want to rig these up straight, that's the most important thing, is just go straight in the middle, okay? And then just slowly push up, okay? I find just by pushing up, it automatically kind of straightens itself. Now we said we we're going to come out on the second last one there. So if I just stick the hook out there on that second last one, okay? And now if I just push that up, bang, beautiful. Our very first one. And look at that, that is a perfectly rigged soft plastic and none of that lead is exposed. Now if we do the exact same thing with a small paddle tail, so I'm gonna take that off. Here is just a very small paddle tail. So we kind of visualize where we want that to come out, which is about there. And again, all we're gonna do is go in the middle, okay? And we're just gonna push up. Push up so it's nice and straight, okay? And then we're gonna come out roughly where we visualized that hole earlier, so it looks a bit like that. And then once we push it onto the keepers there, that's it. And there's another perfectly rigged soft plastic. You can see that's on straight. You can see that all that lead is hiding inside the soft plastic. And that is going to be pretty dynamite. A slightly bigger paddle tail. So this is just one on a white glow color. And again, all we're gonna do is just visualize where that's going to come out. Okay, so we know we want that to come out right about there, okay? And again, if we just Feed that through the middle, okay? Carefully push it up, keeping it straight. And then all we're gonna do is just push that up. And look at that, absolutely perfect. Next, I've got a four inch paddle tail that's in the pilchard color. And you can see a lot of these plastics in these sizes actually have flaps underneath them. Now these are really, really easy to rig up. All you do guys, I've got a standard one sixth of an ounce jig head. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna feed that just through the hole, okay? That has just gone through, okay, the flaps like that. And we'll just push that up. I'm gonna open these flaps and we're just going to push down until it goes through. And look at that, absolutely perfect. Okay. Now there are also other curl tails, okay, that don't have the flaps. And really what you're gonna do in this instance again is really just put your jig head there and sort of visualize where that's gonna come out. So we know that's gonna come out just before that fin there. And a bit like what we did with the other soft plastics before, we're just going to go in the middle and we're just gonna push up, okay? Push up until we can see that it's going to come out of that same spot that we visualized, which is about there. And then when we push this up, and that should just push up nice and straight. And look at that. That is absolutely perfect. Okay, now here I've got a four inch jerk shed. Okay, that's in the nuclear chicken color. And again, this one doesn't have the flap. So this, again, this one's really easy. All we're gonna do is visualize where that's gonna come out. Now I know that should come out 
right about there, right? So all we're gonna do again is we're gonna stick that right in the middle, okay? Gently push up, just trying to keep that nice and straight as we go on. And then you can see that's exactly, that's exactly where I thought it would come out, right there. And if we spin that around and push that up, okay, right against the edge, beautiful. Look at that, okay? Really straight on perfectly. And if I do that now with the five inch in neon pink, I've got a slightly longer jig head because this is a five inch plastic. And again, same thing, we are just gonna visualize where that's gonna come out, okay? And we know that we really want that to come out right about there, okay? If you wanted to, you could put a mark there, but I've visualized that, so I'm pretty confident. Line it up in the middle, okay? We wanna push it on so it's just straight, okay? And then we want it to go through about where we visualized that would come out, which was about there, okay? And then we're just gonna push that up onto the keepers. And look at that, guys. Absolutely perfect. Then you have yabby and creature baits, a bit like this, which has become very, very popular. And again, guys, what I like to do is use a HWS jig head for those. And that means it's gonna be presented really well. Now, a bit like the other soft plastics that we've already done, all we're gonna do is visualize where we want that to go in. Now these are a little bit more tricky, but the same principle applies. If you go in through the top of the head, okay, push that in nice and straight, and then just come out through a hole there and push up. And look at that, that is a beautifully presented yabby. And lastly, guys, a number of manufacturers make jig heads that look a little bit like this. And what that means is you can take a crab soft plastic or something along the lines, and when you rig it up, when it sits on the ground, the crab is actually gonna sit up like that as if it's in the position of where it's gonna attack. And then all we do for those, we just go through the back nice and straight, okay? Like that, and then push that through. Okay, so as you can see now, when that's sitting flush on the floor, this crab is actually gonna be standing upright as if it's got its little pincers in the air. And that is a very effective way, really good for brim and pinkies and species like that. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope that you've enjoyed this fishing tip about how to properly rig up soft plastics, keeping in mind that you wanna choose the right jig head and you want to make sure that that soft plastic goes on straight every single time.